my honor to welcome you to our celebration of St. Madeline Sophie Barron, our foundress, an incredibly remarkable woman. When St. Madeline Sophie Barron was first in formation as a religious, she received a medal. And on the medal, engraved on one side, it said, My heart is joined to yours. No matter the challenges of her life and her time, she never forgot the power of that reality. My heart is joined to yours. God's love for her and her love for God supported her and propelled her and Sacred Heart Education forward. We are united in that same love, right here and now. God's immense love for us and ours for God. Our hearts are united here at Villa du Chateau Oak Hill. We're united amongst ourselves and the school communities all over the world to celebrate our remarkable foundress, St. Madeline Sophie Barron. Happy Feast. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Our response is, my soul is thirsting for the living God, when shall I see him face to face? My soul is thirsting for the living God, when shall I see him face to face? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for the living God, when shall I see him face to face? My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My soul is thirsting for the living God. When shall I see him face to face? Oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. My soul is thirsting for the living God. When shall I see him face to face?
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered together and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please respond after each petition. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the daughters and sons of St. Madeline Sophie and all of the religious of the Sacred Heart that together we may continue to share the Sacred Heart principles that she has established for all. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the people of the world that as a human family, we can lift up one another spiritually. We especially pray for those around the world suffering from COVID-19, as well as all healthcare professionals and essential employees on the front lines that we may support one another in this great time of need. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for those who use their voices and give their lives to promote peace throughout the world. May all of us have the courage and confidence to follow Christ's example, that we might heal our broken world through acts of justice. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all in the Sacred Heart family who are navigating the waters of transition at this time, that they may feel the support of their loved ones as they make changes in their lives. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who we call to mind now who are struggling and suffering under the weight of stresses brought on by life's challenges. May all who suffer be the comfort of the Sacred Heart. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for those loved ones who have died within our village of and Oak Hill School family. May we be consoled knowing that these loved ones are experiencing the joy of the resurrection in the company of Jesus. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bonjour, je m'appelle Carrie Adamitis et je suis en quatrième, bientôt en troisième, à Villa du Chêne. During this last quarter, while we were quarantined, my theology class engaged in the Sophie Project, where we learned more about this founding mother and her love of Pentecost, and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We wrote reflections, crafted creating components, and have launched a website just yesterday with daily prayers and reflections about the life of St. Madeline Sophie Berra that will lead us to the Feast of Pentecost next Sunday. Aujourd'hui, je voudrais partager avec vous mes pensées sur la sagesse, une qualité omniprésente dans la vie de Madeleine Sophie. En hommage à Sophie et sa langue maternelle, je vais lire un peu en français, mais surtout en anglais. We've all told a little white lie, a lie in which we knew the right choice and chose the wrong one. In those situations, the gift of wisdom comes in handy. James 1.5 says, 
If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. The gift of wisdom is the gift of seeing life as God does. It is seeing the good in each person. and making the right decisions in the right situations, and it is a gift we all have the ability to use if only we ask God to give it to us. The Society of the Sacred Heart's fifth goal is personal growth and an atmosphere of wise freedom. In other words, making wise choices or showing wisdom at all times. I joined the Villa community in third grade, and I learned about the goals and criteria within my first week of school. From that point on, I have been trying to live my life by these goals in and out of school. St. Madeline Sophie Barra is a champion of these goals. In her life, she used wisdom in almost all situations, from being wise enough to be the superior general of her own order at age 23, to starting a network that would evolve into over 150 schools worldwide. Sophie's name comes from Sophia, meaning wisdom in Greek. She lived up to the meaning of her name beyond compare. She had abundant amounts of wisdom and was wise enough to use it to spread goodness. Sophie once said, what times we live in. We have two extremes before our eyes the view of unbridled luxury which swallows up wealth and yields instant pleasure, and alongside those crazy expenses, there are thousands, I ought to say millions of people of every class and every age and of every condition who are dying of hunger. This quote about the two extremes of our world, wealth and poverty, still applies today. We can use the gift of wisdom to address these injustices. Because wisdom is seeing the world through God's eyes, we can use it to look at the world through his eyes and try to help the people that are suffering, just like Sophie did. Sophie inspires me to show wisdom in my everyday life. She inspires me to show wisdom in each decision I make. Right now, it is especially important to make the right choices in what we do. Should we stay home? Should we go to the store? The gift of wisdom has always and will always be important, but right now more than ever, we need wisdom in our lives. We need to make wise choices. On doit rechercher la sagesse tous les temps. Madeleine Sophie la savait bien et prenait sa précepte à cœur. People need to hear this message because in these trying times, wisdom can help decipher what we should do and how we can make each decision. That is why today I issue a challenge to make each and every person who sees this more like St. Madeline Sophie Barra. I recently have been looking into ways and situations in which wisdom should be used. I made a small list of times in which showing wisdom is of utmost importance. The list is as follows. When you're with friends, when you're with family, when you're on social media, when you're in school, and when you're driving. My challenge is for each person who hears this to go out and add to the list, because wisdom can be used at all times, if only it is used correctly. Merci and thank you.